Brexit is going to have a significant impact on the insurance industry. We're already starting to see its effects being felt across the infrastructure of the UK insurance sector. I've worked in the insurance sector for 28 years uh, for a number of different companies. During that time I've had a variety of different roles. Some of them have been very much UK based, others have taken me into a more global position and given me exposure to a number of issues that uh, we would be presented with as a result of Brexit. Brexit poses a number of risks uh, to the UK insurance sector, not least through issues such as passporting. Now this is the ability for an insurer to place insurances for a UK based company that has offshore interests and EU related interests. Now in that regard we've already seen some insurers open up offices in the likes of Brussels, uh, in Luxembourg and of course also in Dublin. Does this herald a move away from the UK being the core centre in terms of insurance? And These are all trends and questions that have been driven as a result of Brexit. One of the most important is the potential for economic shock or, or for economic downturn and that could have a significant impact as far as the UK insurance sector is concerned. Brokers are uniquely well placed to, to help their customers through the Brexit challenge. Not least do they have a very good understanding of the client's risk profile. More importantly, I think the question they now need to be asking their clients is how is that risk profile going to change post-Brexit? Where is the reliance upon suppliers? Where is the reliance from an investment perspective for those customers? And does that change their portfolio of risks and the insurance needs that then emanate from that? But I think there are other aspects as well. So if we look beyond, if you like, just the risk profile, there is then the financial profile of the customer and the extent to which they're able to withstand economic shocks. After all, there may be some post-Brexit, and that's a really important facet to, to, to understand. And it might culminate in arranging stronger business interruption uh, insurance coverage, buying down to lower limits, for example. Again, just to help the customer withstand any bumps in the road. And then the third piece, I think, is an educational one, really, in terms of helping customers understand that this may drive changes in their claims costs. For example, we've already started to see inflation uh, in relation to car parts, which we believe is being driven in part by a devalued pound and, and the export-import market. We could equally see that uh, manifest itself with regard to building supplies and materials that come in from abroad and in particular from the EU. So again, these are all dynamics that I think a broker is really well placed to understand and to communicate with their clients about. Mm -hmm.